right, today we're making a cornmeal fried trout. It is great. We're going to start off a little different. We're going to take some fresh sage leaves, which are just so velvety and yummy, and they smell great. And we're just going to fry these up just to get them nice and crisp. And this will also give you some great flavor in your oil when we are going to fry our trout. So while those are cooking up, you can see they're just popping up really quick. Then we're going to drain these on a um, paper towel, and we're going to Remove them from here, drain them on a paper towel, and then we're gonna do our trout. So we're just gonna remove these. They don't take but just a couple seconds to do. And then your oil is gonna have this great fl sage flavor as well. We're gonna take our trout. It's just been roughly filleted, and we're going to dredge it into some seafood breader, which you know is gonna give it some great flavor. And of course, I'm messy. And then um, we're going to dip it in an egg that I've just beaten, and you can put a little water in here too if you want, kind of like an egg wash. And then into our um, yellow cornmeal. So this is gonna give it a nice crunch on the outside, and you're gonna have all these great flavors on the inside, and we haven't had to season it at all, because it's already all in there, which you know for me is a good thing. I like to have it all done for me so I don't have to think about it. So we're ready, we're gonna shake off the excess, make sure our oil is nice and hot, I think it is, and we're gonna put it skin side down and we're just gonna let that cook about three to four minutes on either side um, till it's nice and golden brown and cooked through. And it depends on the thickness of your filet how long you're gonna need to cook it. So while that is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make a sauce that's gonna go over our cornmeal trout. We're going to use, um, we're going to make a grapefruit sauce. And um, I love grapefruits, especially red grapefruits. They have such great flavor and they're just a beautiful color as well. So we're going to um, cut off the bottom and cut off the other bottom and it's going to make it kind of flat. And then we're going to take our sharp knife and we're just going to go around the pith or the peel and we're just going to peel this off all the way around. And this is how we're gonna get our sections. And that's what it's gonna look like when it's finished. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we're just gonna take our knife through the little sections and pop it into our pan. And then we're gonna squeeze the extra juice into our pan. Okay, so pretty simple. I've got one that I've already started here. We're just gonna finish like this and squeeze some extra juice. We're gonna wait till that bubbles. We're gonna swirl in a little bit of butter and you're ready to go. So we're gonna move on. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's finished. You can see your trout is nice and crispy and golden brown. It has the great grapefruits on it and the fried sage. It's a great combination and I hope you enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy this cornmeal trout and I look forward to seeing you next time.